joined by Charles Whitaker, who fights tomorrow night against Gabriel Rosado. I'm Charles the Killer Whitaker. Growing up as a little boy, I, I've always known I wanted to be a fight actor. I remember being five years old and knowing I wanted to be a fighter. You know, it's something that I always love and I, you know, I'm, you know, I grew up as a, just poor little kid in West Bay, you know, so humble beginnings and, you know, hard working mother, came from a, you know, um, hard working and ambitious family. Oh, he got a lot of people working in his company, his business. Yeah, I've built the business up so good that I, I don't have to go out and steal no more. <laughs> <laughs> I got one dude right there. He said, don't worry about the water bill. I'll take care of it. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna write it off as being innocent. You heard when Clinton said the other night, uh, how the crowd laughed. When Clinton said, and any man that had the good sense to marry Michelle Obama, I want him to be my president. Yeah. You know, the crowd laughed, which you could see what everybody was thinking. single parent home with just a mother and living with my mom. You know, it was, it, it was difficult uh, the early beginnings of life, you know. It was, it was a lot of struggles and um, as a little boy, you know, I think I, at the end of the day, I think I was just like, like any other little kid, you know, like, like most other little kids, you know. You know, do kid stuff, got in trouble, you know, pelt rocks at cars and Used to think it was fun as a little boy. I used to go by and throw rocks at the Westwood Police Station because I didn't like the police. You know, I used to enjoy pelting rocks at cars. There's a, a plum tree in Town Hall Road. Um, I often tell people if this plum tree could talk, it would tell you things about me, you know. I like driving down Old Bush Road because I always said it. I told my sister that I did it. When I die, I, I want them to bury me in Old Bush, you know. I said, my car, I think if you started it, it would drive down Town Hall Road, that's Old Bush Road. See your buddy on TV? Mitt Romney. Hey, Mitt Romney? That's his buddy. Hey, did you hear about...
Growing up in Old Bush was a, was, a, was a lot of fun. I mean, I had some, I had some tough times. You know, being a kid, you're being poor, and you know, you, you didn't have as much as other kids. And you know, I, I can remember as a little boy, um, me and my cousins, John and Dean, you know, we used to, we used to, there's a movie we used to call Chico Gang, and we used to call ourselves Chico Gang, you know? And um, it was the three of us, and we, just a lot of fun, you know, summer times go fishing and I remember we go to the beach man um we go to the beach from seven go fishing from seven o'clock in the morning and around about eleven o'clock you go in the sea and somebody your mom or somebody had to come and get you off the beach you know this is where I grew up you know what I mean if this yard could talk used to be a mango tree right here another one right there a few more breadfruit trees with big breadfruit tree right here <clears throat> But um, Mr. Bush himself grew up roaming up here. You know what I mean? He was right down the road down there in this small family. And we grew up here, you know, in his time growing up in Old Bush. Um, I mean, man, that's, that's my Aunt Ellen right there. Now, if this yard could talk with Taysom still, we grew up roaming this yard. I mean, you know, so much, so much, so many memories and time has changed things. Whitaker has been winning and winning against some decent opponents. under the gun, you know, and then reporter asked me, and after you spoke yesterday, she spoke to me and she said, wow, he could really talk. Now, I, I, no, I, said, I was, I was, you know, see, I look at everything, I go to Twitter, and there was a guy on Twitter calling Gabriel, you know how his, his nickname is King, the guy was calling him Queen, Queen Gay, <laughs> he goes, he goes, he was like, he goes, I hope Whitaker cleans, cleans his cleans him up or something like, like that. He said he's Queen Gabriel Rosado. That, that's what he's been practicing. Just let him come. Pow, pow, pow. Let him come. Let him come. Don't try to make him come. The more he keep coming and get back up, you know he get on that road. See right. what he's doing? I don't want him doing that. Right. He get in that mode. Oh, Raul, we're going to have we're gonna read the newspaper in the corner, okay? <laughs> you read the comics. You read the comics. Yeah, I read the comics. No? All right, let's push your button. We'll read the classifieds. Food on the breakfast. He he did tell me in the room food, so that's a, a question to ask. You know, last time person say what you want for breakfast, he said nothing. But we want food for breakfast this time. So, it's all right. I'm not all right. So. So we can go to the, uh, all right. Well, slow down, Chow, slow down. You, you know how Cat Williams say, brothers know that going to jail is deliberate, should be slow and deliberate, but OJ be walking 200 make miles an hour. Make a right, make a right, just go right. There you go. Just go. That's to the left. Stop left. talking to the cameraman. That's still to the left. Now you go to your left. There you go. See that? See, Charles always trying to be his so he had no This gonna be a cartoon. <laughs> 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 I 
and you, you can look around and talk to the like, face of the nation. You know, how about that? Here around the corner, it's past the, pet, the cage. Where's your dress from? Let's go to the bathroom. I'll follow up. The importance of him resting now is uh, uh, the more he stay off his legs, the more, you know, he allow his food to digest at the right time. That means he'll maintain his weight. That time come to get on the scale, we shouldn't have no problem getting on the scale. But if he ripping and running around and touching this or eating this, by the time he get on the scale, he'd be overweight. Uh, on today we do a little shake out uh, a few hours before the, the weigh in just to make sure everything is where we want it to be at that time when it's time to weigh in. The more rest he get now, uh, the better he'll perform tomorrow as well. You know, less things off his mind, like running around doing this for this person, trying to do this for that person. He's then a better chance of, you know, saving that energy for tomorrow. We need all that energy for tomorrow in the fight. That's it. We don't need it on Thursday. There you go. Thank you so much. We need it on Friday. Thank you. It's unusual for you. I'm about two. Because you go in there for a second. You know, I'm going to have to go again in a minute if you like. Oh, I'm impressed. That's when you eat the right stuff. You see that? Be tough. Be tough. Okay, now you're trying to tell me to be tough. That's the cranberry juice we're paying off. See, don't put all the cowroach water on there. Yeah. All of that. Yeah, the bushy. Right, no, right. no, lately I've been, because I've been eating like that lately. Down, get like a doctor going to the bathroom three, four times a day. Now you see what your body needs. My body needs to be in the rain. No, no. <laughs> right, now you're talking like I like. Your body needs to be in the rain. Well, we don't have bathtubs here. If we did, it was a bathtub ring. All you have to do is get in the bathtub and it'd be a ring all around you. You know? <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay, child. 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 I'm gonna be on the outside of the ring, is that okay? <laughs> okay. Would you like me to be inside and you're on the outside? No, you can stand right here. Okay. I don't I don't mind being on the outside. You big time. I, I see that one corner there. Always like to drink now. I'm, I'm gonna have a, a, a apple juice. Apple I'm juice? Trying. Okay. Not the grace. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you, Lord, for the meal we're about to receive. For Lord, we give us this bread. We bless you in our bodies. Praise the Lord for these things. Amen. 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 This will be Charles' last meal for the day until after weigh-in. I don't mean for the day, this will be his last meal until after weigh-in. After weigh-in, he's free to eat. Everything's healthy for you. Go.
notice when uh, Mr. Whitaker's opponent walked in, he was chewing and spitting. That's another sign of losing weight. Chewing and spitting, chewing and spitting, and that's what he was doing. He's holding a cup right now, chewing and spitting. Okay, so we're going to go You know, we're very proud of Charles Whitaker. We've been proud of, of his um, of his uh, achievements over many, many years. He's been the longest, I believe, the longest standing elite athlete that the country has now. Um, competing tonight, in, in the fight tonight, is, uh, is uh, he's now ranked as the number two in the IBF. We know that, and that's, that in itself is a significant achievement. So we know tonight, to, uh, after tonight's fight, he has the opportunity to be uh, ranked number one in the IBF and, and, and gain the opportunity to fight for a world title. It's something he's been fighting, fighting for and struggling to achieve for all his career, and, and that's admirable alone. We know Charles' career has been a struggle. I think Charles has is a great example of what sports tourism can do for the Cayman Islands. I think when we look at some of the sporting events and the investment that the government has made on sports tourism and the benefits that we've gotten, the exposure that we've gotten, we obviously we've seen significant value for money with a lot of those events. But I think the, the, the fight tonight, Charles getting to this point, is actually a real culmination of an evidence of the opportunities that the country will, will get um, for making prudent investments. Right now I'm just, you know, um, I'm just coming out in hours and um, I feel good, you know, um, feel good, feel relaxed and uh, just looking forward to that time. You know, that's just it, just looking forward to that time. This fight, I mean all of the other fights before tonight are very important, but this fight I guess eclipses all of those fights. This fight is the fight. You know, this is the fight that all of our hard work, you know, the hours and days and weeks and months that Norman and Charles have spent together training and preparing and all the time that I've put in uh, through all of the hard work that we all have put in, of course, uh, you know, th this is the fight. This is the fight. I mean, you know, you know, the added value that we have is that the whole world can see this fight. And of course, you know, we're we're looking to perform at our best. Uh, you know, this is Charles, believe it or not, even at his age, his advanced age at 38, this is his breakout fight. This is the fight where the whole world can really see the real Charles Whitaker. Uh, you know, there's been reports of him fighting un under below the radar. You know, this is the fight where he's going to be, you know, for the world to see. This is his, his time to shine. This is his time to make the Cayman Islands very, very proud. Uh, and I, and I, I believe and I feel that they are going to be, you know, so proud of him tonight. 
Uh, you know, he's not looking to disappoint not one of his fans tonight.